Kittle has recently added a brand new feature, and that feature is image to vector. Now this means that we can upload simple coloring pages and then turn them into a vector and at the click of a button. Now stick around and watch today's video if you want to know how to do this. Now, quick side note before we get into the video, and that is that our huge two week long sale on the LCB Vault, which is our low content book publishing course, ends tonight at 9pm GMT. Now, if you don't want to miss this crazy sale, which we've been having, then click that link down in the description below. So, Kittle. I don't know if you use this yet. I have made a couple of videos on this in the past, and I've turned them into a playlist. If you want to check out those videos as well, I will also link that down in the description. But with Kittle, they've added a bunch of new features. The main one that they've recently added is image to vector so you can upload any image that you have and instantly turn it into a vector now this is perfect for coloring pages now what i'm going to do is share with you two examples we're going to take a look at grayscale images to see what it looks like then we're going to take a look at just simple coloring pages as well so let's head on over to mid journey Let's scroll down, let's take a grayscale image. Now all of these coloring pages just here were created with my ultimate coloring page prompt generator. Now that is a set of prompts and information which I feed chat GPT and then it gives me a highly detailed coloring page prompt for Mid Journey version 5. Now I am going to have more information about my ultimate coloring page prompt generator over the next couple of weeks. Now let's go ahead and take one of these. Let's take this, this is more grayscale. So now we're just going to go download, go over to Kittle, we're going to go to the upload section, then we're going to upload this into here. So let's do that. We're going to take a look at this one. We're going to turn it into a vector and then we're going to do more of a simple coloring page as well to see what they look like. So this is the grayscale coloring page as you can see. Let's make it about that big. And if we look over here, this is the new feature. This is image vectorizer where you can vectorize images literally at the click of a button now i believe this is actually a subscription feature so anyone on a free plan unfortunately you can't use this feature but if you have any type of paid subscription here with kittle then you can use this so let's go ahead and click on this let's give it a second and bam, it's done. So with grayscale, we can see this really doesn't look that great. Unfortunately, with any type of grayscale image, you're not going to be able to turn that into a vector just because the quality isn't there and it just doesn't look right. So grayscale is a no-no, but with simple coloring pages, let's take a look at that. So let's go back over to Mid Journey. Let's click off here and let's take one of my more simple coloring pages. Which one? Let's go with this one. I really like this. This is like a 1920s cat gangster. So let's click on save. Let's go back over to Kittle. Let's take that. Let's upload that into there. Now while that's uploading, let's get rid of this one. That is done. So now let's take this. Let's make this bigger. It's like so. Now first of all, why would you want to vectorize an image? Well, it just makes a better quality product. Now with anything PNG, that's made from pixels, but vectors aren't. Now why is that important? Well, with a normal PNG, if you take it and enlarge, we can see the quality starts to deteriorate again because this is all pixels. So now it's looking very pixelated and blurry. But once that you turn this into a vector, let's click that 
image vector for this. But once that you turn it into a vector, look how quickly that did that. That was really, really quick. Once you turn it into a vector, it's then infinitely scalable. So you can actually upscale, not upscale, you can enlarge the image and you're not going to lose any of the quality. So look at that. The quality still looks good. And that's really, really sharp. So this is the new image to vector feature within Kittle, and I think it's absolutely brilliant. One of the reasons why I love Kittle is because they're always adding new features. Now, if you want to try this out, remember this is only for paid members of Kittle. If you do want to try out Kittle, we do have a link down in the description. Disclaimer, it is an affiliate link, so if you do decide to purchase, I will make a small commission. But again, with being able to turn any colouring page, well, not quite any colouring page, more like simple colouring pages, just allows you to create better books. So with this image, you might just want to keep it like so, and that's all well and good, but you might actually want to enlarge it. Then you might want to have it at the side like this, and then you might want to put some words down here. So turning the image into a vector just allows you to enlarge the images without losing any quality. Now again, I just think this is a great feature which they've recently added, and I wanted to share that with you. Now, one thing I quickly forgot to mention, and that is, once you've actually used the feature and turned it into a vector, they actually show up just here, vectorized. So now if we just quickly reload the page, let's just give that a second. Let's go back onto uploads just here. And we can now see that this is where the vectors are. So again, I just wanted to share this with you because I thought that this was a pretty cool feature which Kittle has recently released. Now, if you liked this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, go hit subscribe as well, and if you want to watch the rest of my Kittle videos, then click right here and watch this playlist.